How is it going video game lovers? Welcome back once again to We Video Games and it has been a while since I last uploaded a video. I know, I know, let's start off with that being said. Um, I think it's been two to three months since my last video. Um, I've been away because of personal and professional reasons, but um, I wanted to make sure that I came back in big um, and this is the purpose of this video um, so I've been away but collecting hasn't been away I've been getting a ton of games in this time off and um, yeah I'm just really happy to be here to show you guys everything that we got for uh, all these I mean three three months I think um, and we have a lot I mean we are back with more than 50 new video games into my collection and a very special 10 new Pokemon games yes I went on a Pokemon uh, buying spread, and uh, we have it's mainly uh, DS and 3DS. Uh, but I'm really excited about um, these games. I also have PS2. We got Wii, we got PS3, we got Nintendo Switch, and like I said, Nintendo DS and Nintendo 3DS. So uh, stay tuned because this is gonna be a really really cool video. More than 50 new video games to our collection. And let's get the video rolling. All right then, very happy to be back. And as it is tradition, we're gonna start off with uh, the PS2. Let's see how our PS2 collection is growing. As you guys know, I'm going for a full set. So we always start with the PS2. So oh, let's not have a look at what we have. And we're gonna start off with the PS2, all right. Let's start off with a $2 game that I purchased in my thrift stores. It's Lego Star Wars the video game. I always say that Lego games are um, really, really good games. Then we got Yakuza Missions Reckless. Another one of those games that I purchased for 2 or $1 at thrift stores. Our PS2 collection is growing rapidly. And uh, we are about uh, 1,350, maybe getting close to 1,400 games. We're almost there. Uh, for $3.5 or $3.5, I got Superbikes Riding Challenge. There you go, a game that I don't see too often, to be quite honest with you. Speed Kings, another motorbike racing game. And I'm really happy to be finding uh, PS2 games everywhere because um, yeah I mean it gets harder and harder to uh, find PS2 games that I don't have uh, Pro Evolution Soccer 2010 which uh, I play a lot back in the day and Pro Evolution 2012 uh, I can't believe it's been um, already 10 years since uh, that game came out which I used to play a lot NBA Hoops this one I have to get it from the UK because uh, here in Australia I never see it Excuse me. For two dollars, Countryside Birds. This is a Phoenix game. Uh, it's always really good to find Phoenix games out in the wild um, because they are quite rare. Another Phoenix game is a Heavy Trail Hamster Bowl. Right there. Cool. Let me move this here. Right there. Then um, Club Football 2005 Ajax, a game that's really difficult to find outside of Europe, mainly in uh, the Netherlands, and that's where I got it from. I've been getting a lot of games in, online from from Europe because, um, like I say, it's getting harder and harder to find games out there, uh, especially when you are so close to your full full collection. I mean, close. I mean, I, I got 1,400 games, so it gets harder and harder to find good games out there. Then we got Club Football Chelsea, another game that I had to get from Europe. Um, yeah, look, it's been three months, I've been getting games here and there, everywhere, so uh, I might not remember where some of these games are going from. The Plan, which is created by um, Ghost Light, which were the um, publishers of, well, not created, but it was published. Um, they published the, um, the Shin Megami Tensei games on the PS2, so... It's cool to have that. It looks really cool, actually. I may have to give it a try. 
Then we got a game that uh, is very, very, well, actually, it's impossible probably to find in Australia. Uh, Frankie Dittori Racing, which I, I don't even know who Frankie Dittori is, but uh, he has his own game, and I think this is a UK exclusive. Really happy to have that. And then we got Time Crisis 2. Yeah, one of the best light games, if not the best uh, light game out there you know, on the PC. And uh, I'm just really, really happy to have that one in the collection. Stan GP, a game that i never seen. Uh, when I saw it, I had to pick it up. Uh, it's a racing game. And it was distributed by Virgin Interactive. And then we got a Sega Dreamcast game or port by Sega Space, Space Channel 5. I have Space Channel 5 Part 2 in my collection, which I shared with you guys in a, in a previous video. But uh, having part number one is, uh, is something that I always wanted to do until I found it for uh, the right price, which I think it was about $29 from memory. Uh, yeah, so 20, about $29, so I, pay, I paid that for it. And the last PS2 game for um, this video is uh, a th a Ephemeral Fantasia, a game that I have no idea existed by Konami, I am so happy uh, to have this game. This one cost me, I don't have a receipt anywhere, but from memory, I picked it up a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago actually, about, I think about $30, I'll say. So look, a Konami game on the PS2, $30, I'll definitely pay up for that. So that's PS2, PS2 collection is growing, it's getting harder and harder to buy PS2 games, but we got a lot more games here. So I'm gonna move on really quick with uh, these uh, PC games and then we'll get to the uh, good stuff. Skyrim for PC, big box. I got it for one half dollars. Space Invaders. Um, this is, I used to play this on the PS1 and one was one of the first games that I got on the PS1 and I loved it. <coughs> Settlers, Heritage of Kings. And that is it for PC. Now let's move on to Wii games. Nothing special, uh, two dollar games, Tony Hawk, Ride, uh, Boogie, Superstar, I got all of these for two dollars, uh, little, little, little pet shop, two dollars as well, Just Dance 2, brand new seal, but yeah, it's ripped, seal is ripped, um, for two dollars, and Avatar, the game, also for two bucks. So the Wii games, like I said, nothing special. Let's now start to move into the more interesting stuff. Uh, I got one Xbox One game, which is Call of Duty World War Two, that I got for two dollars. Um, actually, oh, actually, I actually paid five dollars for this one, right there. Um, yeah, I just, I just saw it and I picked it up. Right? And also for five dollars, this one is much better. It's a uh, Kladum returns. This is Sengoku, right there by uh, Miss America. So happy to have that on the PS4. Then moving on to Xbox 360, Gears of War 2. I already have it, but this is the Game of the Year edition. So happy to have that in my collection. And of course, um, I'm a call for answer. So I've been. Uh, I have pretty much every single Armor Core game out there. I'm thinking, yeah, so I got every single Armor Core game uh, from the PS2 era, and then I'm missing the PS1 games, and I'm missing number five. But, as you guys know, Armor Core um, 6 has been announced, and people are going crazy for Armor Core games, so I had to pick up this one before <laughs> it went out of stock, because people are purchasing the games like crazy, they're getting really up there in price. So before they went up in price, I picked up uh, Furanza, which was the only game I was able to find on my local CEX and online. That's no Armor Core games anymore. So Furanza is the one I will be uh, adding to my collection and possibly uh, playing uh, before 6 comes out. And then continue on now with PS3, Disney Infinity for $2. Um, Far Cry 3 for 
Far Cry 3 is one of my favorite games of all time. I had it, I had it for, I have it for the Xbox 360, but I didn't have it for the PS3, so I just picked it up. Uh, Sprint to Soul, uh, Double Agent for two dollars as well. Uh, Ratchet and Clan, all for one, uh, for two dollars. Finding that game for this price is unbelievable because this game costs probably twenty or twenty-five dollars. Uh, and I got this. Um, uh, Tales of Graces Japanese version for $15 at my local um, game store. Um, I, went, I just go there sometimes to support the business and I uh, purchase mostly um, Japanese titles or you know stuff like that, Pokemon cards, stuff like that. But, uh, but yeah, I, I haven't seen this one yet, so I picked it up for $15. And then we have Madden NFL 2017, which was the last Madden game released for the PS3, at least in PAL territory. And finding this game is getting harder and harder, of course. Uh, I mean, it's already PAL territory, it's already Australia, and you're finding uh, NFL games. And finding the last release of that NFL game on that console is definitely not easy. I paid $10 for it. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy to add in my collection. Probably in the future, it's going to be way more expensive. And then here comes the good stuff, which is my Nintendo Switch. So. Um, as you guys know, I have my own personal rule that for Nintendo Switch games, I tend to um, I tend to only buy games that I will finish and I'm keeping that tradition up, but it's getting harder and harder because I'm, I want to pick up there's so many Switch games out there, I want to pick up many of them so, let's see, I have to uh, spend a lot of time playing games, I guess uh, but we got one that I've been playing so much and it's so good, I'm about to finish it it's Kirby and the Forgotten Land man, this game is magical uh, it's the first time Kirby goes 3D, and uh, the wall is amazing. Uh, the gameplay is very similar to um, Super Mario Odyssey, and you know the way the wall looks, feels, and the stuff that you can do. So I really love this game, and I will finish it within the next couple of days, maybe weeks. Um, let me put it here. And of course, you have to pick up Xenoblade Chron Chronicles 3. <laughs> Uh, cost me sixty dollars, of course, as you can see there. Um, I am playing number one, still. Uh, I'm about thirty hours in, so maybe halfway or a little bit more than halfway. <clears throat> number two, I finished it, um, and then I'll be playing this one after I finish number one. So I'm really, really, really happy to have it in my collection. I tested it just to test it, and yeah, it looks amazing. So. And brand new, still feel Chrono Cross. I can't wait to play this game. I played it back in the day on the PS1. I never finished it, not even close. I just played for a little bit, and just just being able to have it on my Nintendo Switch is unbelievable. I got it from Play Asia, and I'm just desperate to play it. But I need to finish a couple of games on my Switch before I jump into this one. Really, really happy, man. I I I want to play this game so much. Disaster Report 4, another game that I want to play. I haven't played too much of the Disaster Report games in the past, but um, I was looking at it and I, I really like what I see. So hopefully it's a good game. I'll be playing it, but it's not my priority right now. As you can see, I got priorities. Um, and then talking about priorities, I already, I'm already playing this game. Um, and I'm about, about four or five hours into the game and that's Tormented Souls. Uh, this is an amazing horror game, guys. I mean, look, I'm not gonna say it's perfect because it's not, it's far from it, but a decent 7 out of 10 game. Uh, this is um, a love letter to those classic uh, horror games in the PS1, and this plays exactly like that. So, I, you know, I enjoy the puzzle so much, you know, the, the camera. Um, the camera angles and, and the whole thing basically the atmosphere of classic horror game is here and I've been playing this game and I'm loving it it's actually scary so pick it up if you love horror games this is the game for you I don't know if the Switch version is the best version probably not but um, it's also out in PS4 and I don't know if the Xbox one but the PS4 for sure and of course the Nintendo Switch and continuing with horror um, Fatal Frame uh, Madden of Blackwater. I haven't played it yet, as you can see, it's still sealed, but I'll get to it definitely. Um, I can't wait to play this game. But like I say, I got many, many games that I'm already playing, and this game, um, I have no doubt it's gonna be really, really good. 
exciting stuff. So those are my Switch games. Let's now move on to the DS and 3DS. Um, we're gonna leave the Pokemon games for last. Let's go with really just games that I picked up uh, for the DS and 3DS. Starting with a one dollar game <laughs> that I picked up. It's a Japanese game that I have no idea how it's called. Perfect clear, says that. And yeah, I that's all I have to say because I haven't really played it. Then all these games that um um I go for one dollar or whatever. Yeah, it's very cheap. I don't know. I don't remember where I found them. Art arcade, one dollar. As you can see there. Um. Uh, image beauty stylist, one dollar. I I shouldn't even be picking up these things, but for one dollar, I mean, I'm like. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna pick them up, who cares? Um, this one, two dollars, is prime. Um, I haven't played any of these games, I'm just an idiot because I pick up everything that's cheap. Um, Crosswords, DS, one dollar. Uh, one dollar, <laughs> one dollar and a half, CSI, Crime, Scene, Investigation, Dark, Moritz. Very cheap games. And um, I got Nintendo. Plus cards, it says twenty nine there, but that's not what I paid. I paid a dollar for this as well. Um, and then we got uh, the Sims Two pets for a dollar. Uh, the Sims Two um, says twelve bucks in there, but I found it at a garage sale for a dollar. And we got the Sims pet, which I also got the same place I got this for a dollar. It used to cost twenty dollars back in the day, and there you go. So those are Nintendo DS and 3DS. And now let's move into the big games, which are my Pokemon games. Okay. So my history with Pokemon. Um, I love the Pokemon games. I I missed a couple. I mean, just a few, especially from 2007 to about 2018. All that era, basically, I missed it. But I did play Soul and Silver and... Um, Hargo, I did play those, which are amazing by the way. Um, but that being said, I, I came back and started playing again. So one day I was like, I need to pick up a lot of Pokemon games. I still have to pick up a lot, um, but I picked up a few that I saw for a good price and let's go through them. So I picked up Sun and Moon to start with. These are the cheapest ones right now uh, for the 3DS. And I haven't played it yet, but I'm planning to. And this is one of the gener generations that I missed. So I'm hoping to to find something really unique or, or interesting about these two. Alright. Then I have Super uh, Super Pokemon Rumble. Another, another game that I never played. Um, it's still a Pokemon game, even though it's not a mainline Pokemon game. I didn't say that they have to be mainline. Just... Pokemon games and it has everything basically it's like complete with all different stuff um, that you can think of I guess um, we've got Pokemon Ultra Moon so if I have Moon I have to have Ultra Moon and I got it right there really happy and excited to be playing this but I'll finish that one first by the way I got all these games from Europe uh, so yeah I'm a big hole of Pokemon games I got Pokemon Dash right Pokemon Dash perfect uh, not a very good game but one of the first games and then Nintendo DS Pokemon Link which is a fun puzzle little game but still Pokemon and then we got all the um, exploring Pokemon games so I got Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Sports of Darkness that I, that I, um, I just tried I haven't played it much and it looks really really interesting it's like um RPG with Pokemon um, but it's very different to the mainland. You don't, you are not a human. You are, you are the Pokemon, a Pokemon, a human that became Pokemon. Anyway, but you play as Pokemon and, and um, you talk to Pokemon and basically it's a Pokemon adventure without any humans. Uh, so it's it's really really cool. I'll be playing that for sure. And then we got the same game but different title. So Explorers of Time. So Pokemon that Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time, which is just basically the same as that one, but. Uh, a little bit of, uh, I guess, in the story, a little bit different, just like Sun and Moon, for, for example. Um, different Pokemons, of course. So, again, I'll be playing that, of course. Uh, all these games are, by the way, complete and had all different stuff. 
um, that comes with it. And of course, we got Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Team Rescue. Uh, I really want Red Team Rescue on the gay, gay, Game Boy Advance, but um, that one that's cost a little bit more money. But I will find it and I'll get it um, because I got many more games coming uh, my way from Europe. And then finally, to finalize the, finalize this video, I got this game really, really cheap for thirty five dollars. Um, I'm really happy to have it because I'm scaling up. If you guys didn't know, I'm trying to get more uh, Game Boy Advance, um, Game Boy Color, and Gen in Game Boy games. If I find them, if I can find them, I'll get them because I don't have a big collection of those games, and I really, really want to start collecting those. I'll start with off with like deals of course i'm not gonna spend a lot of money and i'm talking about pokemon pinball that's right being able to find this game is amazing i mean it is a bit i mean the box as you can see has a lot of wear um you can see right there this peel uh it's peel off right there um but apart from that you know it looks really good it is complete as you can see heavy box it has everything inside um uh, and um yeah i'll be happy to play that to turn on my game boy color uh, which hasn't been turned on for a few years um so just you know to be able to have this it's amazing i bought some um game boy uh, uh, game boy kind of um protectors plastic protectors to put this on but it didn't fit the box is bigger than the normal Game Boy Color games, um, but um, yeah, really, really happy to have this um, in my collection. Like I said, I'll be buying many, many more games, or Pokemon games, but uh, 3DS games, Game Boy games, etc. They come in, they come in. So on the next video, you will see those, and um, and yeah, so that's how we finalize this video. Believe it or not, we went through more than 50 games. Uh, we did it really, really fast, but. I went to more than 50 new games um, in my collection. I am very happy to be back. Um, my time is highly limited, um, which is probably not a surprise for any of you, given the um, how often I upload videos. But um, I'll try to get this um, uh, monthly video game pickups at least until I get some time, which I is 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 a bit it's a bit difficult, but. Hopefully I can I can create more content. Uh, but yeah, I'll be bringing those videos. I have a ton of games. I I am always collecting. That's a stop, right? So I'm getting games all the time. So I need to share these games uh, with you guys before I put it into my collection. I put it in a little pile and then I make the video and then put it into my collection. So that's kind of the process that I go through. So I was dying to create this video because I got too many now, um, and there's more coming. Like seriously, there's a ton more. So thank you for joining. I uh, hope you have a beautiful beautiful holiday with you and your family. Have a really good time. Uh, be safe. Uh, I hope you're healthy. And I hope you stick around um, and join me in the next video. So take care. I'll see you next time.